if you invest in a guy like Paul Skeens, you have a little bit longer wait on that return on investment to come up because you do want to see if he does want to hit and Shohei Otani has shown, like you said, people in the major leagues that it is possible. They're going to want to see him develop a little bit more in the minors. And as a pitcher, you want to see that control before you bring him up to the major leagues. So I think those are some things that they'll be waiting on Paul Skeens a little bit. So he may not have an impact right away. But long term, you've got yourself a, a great pitcher to fill in that hole and somebody who can hit as well, which is becoming very valuable. And, and uh, everybody at home saw the video of Paul Skeens on the mound. Not only was he throwing 100 miles an hour repeatedly, but you hear scouts talk about the effortless delivery. He's throwing 100 miles an hour effortlessly. That is one of those things that any GM with any team is going to look at and go, Oh, yeah, we could find a place to put that guy. I'm pretty sure they can find something for him. Sticking with the uh, Pirates here, we got a question uh, on Twitter from Zach who asks, do you think the Pirates would trade Andrew McCutcheon if they got a good offer for him despite Kutch's wishes to remain in Pittsburgh? I don't think so. I think just because Andrew McCutcheon coming back says a lot about who he is, and he made the Pirates look really, really good by coming back. I think this is the place Kutch wants to retire, and I think there's other moves potentially that the Pirates could make of value, for example, key Brian Hayes right now, um, that might be more valuable for a team than trading off Andrew McCutcheon, who is, why would you want this guy at this point, who's expressed just wanting to retire in Pittsburgh. He might be toward the last leg of his career and has done everything he could to boost the Pittsburgh Pirates. Why would you want him now playing for your team? I think the Pirates have better trade value there and in some of the minor league prospects as well that they can get more value out of those guys. Yeah, we've seen this team pick so high in the draft the last few years. They brought a handful of guys in in just the past couple years that probably have some value. But then players in the past maybe three or four years in the minor leagues that are working their way up, you have a couple guys here that might be a little bit extraneous and could have some trade uh, trade value potentially if you're looking to upgrade talent. Although I'm sure some people would expect the Pirates to be sellers at the deadline, but you still have the Carlos Santanas of the world. You still have the Rich Hills of the world that might have some trade value to a potential contender. So yeah, it does seem like if you're in the position of the Pirates and Andrew McCutcheon, and it seems like such a marriage of convenience right now. It seems like Kutch is in a very very comfortable point here in Pittsburgh where he says, you know what, I want to retire here, I want to finish my career here. But he also says something I thought was interesting the day he was announced. And I was at that press conference where he said, I'm not coming back just to be an ambassador. I'm not coming back for one year. I want to come back and stay here, and I want to help this team win. I think that says a lot. Plus, the Pirates have done a pretty, you know, I would say accommodating job of finding those windows for him to play and rest and keep him fresh so he's still somewhat effective. So I think all those things definitely go hand in hand. So I agree with you. I think training him is not one of those things that they probably have in mind. Here's what we'll do. We'll take another break. When we come back, we got tweets, we got phone calls maybe we'll get to, and we will close out here with Hannah in the last few minutes of the show. Stick around.